Hey, me and my golfers, I'm Marcella Smith, and today we're going to discuss one of the most important elements of golf, pace of play. We all know that there's nothing worse than waiting and waiting on the group in front of you. It can be frustrating and really get into your head and affect the rhythm of your game. Pace of play is the single most important element of golf etiquette, and good pace helps us all enjoy our time out on the course. Every golf course has a stated amount of time that you're expected to complete your round in. It may be four hours and ten minutes, for example. It would be printed on the scorecard or posted near the first tee. Knowing that expectation is important, but let's explore different ways that you can maintain a great pace of play. This may seem obvious, but if you tee off late, it may be very difficult or impossible to catch back up. If your tee time is 9.20, for example, you'll want to arrive at the first tee five minutes before that with your golf balls marked and ready, tees and ball markers in your pocket and ready, and your handicap written on your scorecard. Of course, you'll want to be on the actual golf course about 45 minutes to an hour in advance to get everything handled, check in, warm up, etc. before you're ready to get to the first tee. If you're a foursome and you see the foursome ahead of you when you tee off, you should see them throughout your round. You'll know you're playing on time when you get ready to hit a shot and the group in front of you is just leaving your intended landing area. If you don't yet have an established handicap, there's no reason to rush out and get one. As you build upon the skills you're learning with Pierce and Andy, go easy on yourself with your expectations of your performance. Don't worry about playing every single shot. If you're in a tough lie, drop the ball on an easier location or just throw it out of the bunker. If you hit a bad shot, don't hit another one from there. Just go up to where your playing companion is hitting from and take a drop from there. Making it easier on yourself will help you gain more confidence and help you keep up a great pace of play. Whether you're playing with more seasoned players or beginners, consider playing your round under a scramble format. Each of the players will tee off and you'll select the best one of those tee shots and then each of you will hit from there. That continues all the way until you hole out. You don't have to worry about a few bad shots or even keeping score. It's a fun way to play with all the clubs in your bag and keep up a good pace of play. If you do have an established handicap, then you'll want to be able to post a score while playing at a good pace. If you're having a bad round or just struggling to keep up with the group in front of you on a particular hole, remember that you can always pick up at your maximum score, which under the new World Handicap System is a net double bogey. This may only happen a few times during your round, but it can really save your group valuable time and help you stay relaxed and focused. If you're driving in golf carts, it's a good idea for the two players in the front cart to tee off first and then the other two players. This enables the players in the front cart to wipe down their clubs, return them to their bags, and be ready to pull away as soon as the other two players hit. If you're newer to golf and always feel pressure to speed up when you see the group behind you with their hands on their hips impatiently, you may want to consider playing as a twosome or a threesome. This may be allowed later in the day as opposed to early morning tea times, but if your course does permit you to play with less than a foursome, it's a great way to feel a little less stressed about keeping up the proper pace of play and enjoying yourself. Trying to find a lost ball can add unnecessary time to your round, not to mention penalty strokes if you have to go back to the last place played under stroke and distance for a lost ball or an out of bounds ball. Each player should be watching each other's ball flight throughout the round to help determine if a provisional ball is needed or where a ball may have last crossed the edge of a penalty area, for example. 
These seven strategies to stay on pace can help you relax and have more time for your pre-shot routine and practice swing and ultimately help you shoot a lower round and have more fun. I'm Marcella Smith and we'll see you next time.